Okay guys, a quick video here today on how to update the firmware on the Real ACC uh, diversity module for your Fat Shark goggles with the Achilles 2.0 firmware. Uh, first of all, you need to go to the RC Group's uh, thread and download some files. I'll put a link in the description to this page. Uh, there's some information here and some videos and stuff. Uh, you want to go down, scroll down to where it says download, and right here it says Achilles uh, version 2, that's that's what you want to download. And there'll be two files in there to flash a uh, firmware EEPROM clear file and then the firmware itself. And then you also want to download the program to flash it with, it's called Xloader. So you want to download that and then you want to set uh, your device to this Nano at Mega 328 and wide rate of 57600 and then flash the uh, EEPROM clear file and then the hex file and then I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate that to you at this point. Okay so in order to program the uh, Real ACC module you will need to connect up a programmer. Uh, you, you typically you want an FTDI adapter and what I have here, if the camera will focus, this is, um, so I don't think this is an FTDI adapter, it's called a uh, CP2104 USB to TTL adapters. It's similar and it's got all the proper connections for sending and receiving data, uh, DTR, RXD, TX, TXD has to receive and transmit 5 volts and ground. The last pin uh, isn't necessary. And then those pins will correspond to the six pins here. So let me uh, bring this together. I just have a bunch of wires here. Actually, you can probably just connect it directly instead of using these wires. Let me just pull this off. So these six pins here correspond to the six pins over here. And so DTR should be on the left, then receive, then transmit. And so you should be able to just slide this in like so. And you will kind of need to have uh, this at an angle so that there is some pressure on the pin so that you don't lose contact. Otherwise, it might power off while you're flashing it, and in which case, it, it, it's a, there's a danger of actually bricking it. So you should uh, make sure that you hold this or have maybe some uh, helping hands or something to hold this together so that this connection isn't lost while it's flashing. So I'll go ahead and I'll plug in the USB cord now. Should you get power, I'll start flashing and then the module should power up. There we go. This is very tricky. And you do want to make sure that you're, you don't lose power while you're doing this. So I have it set so that it's it's now um, looks like it's, it's it's fairly stable, so I'll go ahead and I'll flash it now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and then we'll uh, run the Xloader program. And first, you want to clear the EEPROM. And we want to for the device we want to select uh, Nano at Mega three twenty eight. Baud rate of 57600 and then you're going to have to find your COM port and in my case it's 37 and then we'll go ahead and we'll upload and then we want to go ahead and then upload the firmware and go ahead and upload that okay and that'll do it See, we rebooted, we got the Achilles logo on the startup screen, and it's prompting us to do the calibration at this point. Okay, so I got the module installed to my Fat Shark Dominator V3s. We'll power it up here. See, the new Achilles firmware is good to go. And you got a couple of lights here. Looks like it switches back and forth between the two different antennas. I think the bottom one's green and the top one's blue. And you got a little dial here on the side. I'm not going to go over all the features. Um, I'll put a link in the in the description to a video that kind of goes through all the individual features in the in the menu. But 
the thing that I want you to uh, take a look at is when you first power this up, you want to go to setup and you want to go to the calibrate setting and then you want to have a uh, some sort of a source like a 25 milliwatt ideally uh, transmitter transmitting somewhere I don't have anything right now and then they'll go through that process and they'll calibrate the RSSI so that's what you want to do um, I'm sure some of, you, some of you guys are going to be asking about the this little 3d printed case that I've got here uh, I got that from Thingiverse and I just printed it in TPU. It's a really tight fit. Um, does require a little bit of cutting, uh, but it looks pretty clean and it fits this one perfectly. So I'll put a link in the description to the Thingiverse file. If you guys have a 3D printer, you can print your own little case here. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.